Many of them remained loyal to their memories of the old world or of the Altergeim. They spoke Yiddish among each other. They struggled. When I already came along, I, I am, uh, there's a generation in between my grandparents and me, that is the generation of my parents. And so there was already an, an acclimatization to Mexico. They spoke Yiddish with each other, but they spoke Spanish with the, the rest of the country. They, they, the servants, the workers, uh, the neighbors, and uh, within the family, Yiddish was the glue, what kept us together, uh, the, from grandkids to grandparents, from grand, from children to parents, and uh, in many ways, also the food, the customs, were very much Eastern Europe, very much Poland or the Ukraine. The decoration, I remember, of my grandparents' house always looked as if it belonged to another century and another geography. And of course, I didn't know where it belonged because I was so little at the time. I'm thinking about six or seven years of age. But I did know that it didn't fit into the landscape of the other homes of neighbors or friends that I visited with some regularity. The food that they would prepare on Fridays and Saturdays was food that combined very interestingly, and as I look back, I long for that food uh, in a particular way. It combined the, the Yiddish Jewish food that they had grown up with, herring and gefilte fish and kreplach, with the salsa and chile and mole and all sorts of uh, Mexican uh, culinary varieties. And I, um, I, I thought of all that as a regular part of life because one is a child and because one doesn't put much thought into this. And only later did I realize that there was a, already a culture, a new Jewish variety emerging at that time. And that was a combination of Eastern European Yiddish culture with Latino, particularly Mexican one, that over the years since then has developed in a number of different ways and has acquired heft and roots and stamina and uh, has flourished, uh, giving 10, 15,000 uh, people that live in Mexico City uh, of that generation a sense that they are not part of the oral world and they are not completely Mexican. They are a hybrid something in between. Do you make any of those dishes today? <laughs> I do. I do. In, in Hanukkah in particular, we cook, my wife Allison uh, and I, um, a, a special type of mole that is a, a chocolate-based sauce that you generally use for chicken with the latkes and with the applesauce and a sour cream. So the combination has become very popular among my friends who come to this Latino Jewish uh, Hanukkah party.